Oh my god. So by the time we get to the episode you're filming now, will we get to meet Curtis Holt's partner? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I could tell you that with a hundred percent certainty. Is he your type? He definitely would be my type. Yeah, <laughs> for sure he's a handsome dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, in last night's episode we saw that um, your character learns that Felicity has something else going on, something with the hair. Yeah. Is he going to continue to just kind of know only a little bit about that or is he going to get pulled further into the operation? Yeah, I feel like as the season pro- as the season progresses he'll definitely get pulled further and further into the team arrow world. You know, there's a lot of fun stuff coming up in some of the episodes where he gets it out in the field and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. How does he react to all of that? You know, he's surprised by it, but um, you know, on the last episode he talked about, you know, his need to wanna, you know, do right for people and, you know, help the city and stuff like that. So I think it's also something that's intriguing to him. And he's definitely like into the fact that Felicity is like doing that type of stuff. So I feel like that's something that's been inside himself. So he kind of is excited to get out there, you know. How is that impacting his relationship with his husband? Is his husband okay with that? You know, the husband (laughs) wants to get away on trips all the time (laughs) and all like that, you know, but I think he understands that, you know, Curtis is doing an important job at Palmer Tech and, you know, really trying to do the best he can for the family too, for the people of the city. Can you talk about Chris and Felicity's dynamic? Because now she has somebody kind of level yeah. So how does that it you know, they have such a fun dynamic and Emily and I, like from the second we got on the set, it was just like hit it off instantly, just cracking jokes, being silly. But Curtis and Felicity, I, I mean they feel I mean they have the same type of passions, you know, they're both very much into tech and computers and all stuff like that. And uh, I think that the chemistry just really, really plays off well with each other. Will we also see them having like, some more intense conversations? Because so far their dynamics been relatively Yeah, chaotic. yeah. You, you do see them kind of um, trying to solve some of the mysteries of like, at the end of the episode, they show some stuff that was going on with that phone and stuff like that. So you see them kind of trying to figure out what's going on with that. And he kind of helps her on the path of um, trying to get Ray Palmer back too. Have you gotten any, any more action scenes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I got some more action scenes coming up, and it's always been so much fun just to shoot and really cool to, you know, just be out in the field. Did you have to do any special training to prepare? Um, not so far, not yet. I'm sure there'll be some stuff down the line. Um, but, you know, there's definitely been the stuntman has been used a plenty <laughs> so far. <laughs> um, so, you know, Curtis gets to mix it up a little bit. We saw that scene where Curtis puts his very smart guy. So yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, Curtis is smart, so he's probably usually playing two steps ahead. You know, um, so he might not want to tip his hand if he does know it's the green arrow. Um, but I can't see if he does or doesn't yet. You know, I, he's very smart. I will say that he's extremely <laughs> smart, and you can probably put two two together. But we're right. <laughs> is there uh, have have has the phrase fair play actually come up at any point yet? Um, yeah, you know, uh, in one of the next couple episodes that you'll see that phrase in, um, a very visual way. <laughs> well, there was a deadline given that he had now six months to kind of justify his continuation with the job. Mm-hmm. How much is that actually coming into play in the episodes that you've filmed so far? And does he have actually a good plan as to how he can save his job? I think he's definitely working on it. Like, we kind of, yesterday, looked at the HD lenses, and we got to see the T-sphere for the first time, so I definitely feel like he's in the mix of really finding that groundbreaking technology. But, you know, he's kind of getting pulled into Felicity and Team Arrow's world in, in, in regards to things that are going on at Palmer Tech. <coughs> so so they, he's trying to work on that, but also trying to help Team Arrow. You no know, pressure. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> have you been able to share any scenes with Grant yet? Because I imagine Barry and Curtis would have such a hilarious report. You know, we, we've, like, tweeted each other on, <laughs> uh, and stuff like that. And um, I haven't got to at this point, but... I would love to, and I think Grant and I were talking, and he, you know, we both would love that a lot. I would love to just go check out Star Labs, Curtis and Star Labs, and Cisco and all through. That would be a lot of fun, you know? Other than Felicity, what are some of the interactions that you're really enjoying um, playing? Yeah, I mean, you know, um, even before I came on a show, Diggle was, like, one of my favorite characters, <laughs> so I really like the interactions Curtis and Diggle are kind of having with each other. And Can you tease anything about that? I mean, you know, it's kind of a mutual respect, and, you know... Um, you know, <laughs> there's still, you know, they still have to be careful not to 
keep up the identities of certain people and whatnot. But it's just it's a lot of fun just to play off Dicko. I mean, David Ramsey and whatnot, and I think him and Curtis have a pretty good relationship. Does Curtis get um, recruited for the elect Oliver Queen campaign at all? Is he seen <laughs> that world? He's in that world partially. I yeah. wouldn't say he's recruited to do <laughs> any like, campaign yeah. or anything, you know. But uh, I think he's definitely supportive of Felicity's boyfriend running for mayor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What feedback are you getting already That's about your question? What feedback, like fan feedback, are you getting already? For they hate me or? so much. <laughs> um, they're like, get off Arrow, Echo. No, everyone's been. <laughs> <laughs> the voice of the yeah, internet. That's, like <laughs> that's how Twitter sounds, yeah. right? Hey! Don't yay! Um, but uh, <laughs> everyone actually has been so nice, and they make me feel like the spe- most special guy in the world. You know, um, they're just all so welcoming. And I know when I first took on the role, that was definitely like, oh, God, I just hope the fans like my portrayal of this character and you know the show is so amazing I hope that I could add something to it and I feel like the fans have been so vocal and just showing their appreciation their support and their passion for Curtis and for the show and I just you know it's the best one in the world thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.